Hello, and thanks for using TickBoom. In this question, we're faced with a probability problem that comes from the um, standard mathematics course for the HSC. So the basic facts of the problem are that we've got three coins and they're biased. And what that means is um, each time you flip the coin, the probability of a head or a tail isn't 50-50 like it would normally be. Um, it's going to be something else. Um, we care about counting the number of heads, and what's, what's being provided is that after flipping the coins a hundred times, we got these results. So obviously if you've got three coins that you're flipping in any one um, iteration, you can either get no heads, you could get one heads, two heads, or three heads. They're the total possible outcomes. And what we see here is we got no heads 15 times, 1 20 times, 2 29 times, and 3 36 times. And those four numbers add up to the 100 times that we flipped. So the question asks us, what's the probability that we would get at most two heads after flipping the three coins? And the way you can think about that, there's a few ways you could break it down actually. You could start by saying, well, the way you can get at most two heads is you could get no heads, you could get one head, or you could get two heads. That's the way you can get at most two heads. And you could add up those three probabilities and that will give you your answer. Um, an alternative and slightly faster way is to say that the probability of getting at most two heads is one minus the probability of getting three heads. Because remember, there's only these four possible outcomes. All of those probabilities must add up to one or a hundred percent. So taking one minus the probability of three heads will by definition give you the sum of the other three. And what I'll do is I'll work through both of these approaches to show you that you do get the same answer. So sticking with this first approach, we simply add them up. So the probability of no heads is 15 on 100, plus the probability of one head is 20 on 100, plus the probability of two heads is 29 on 100. And if I just plug all three of those into the calculator, we'll get 15 divided by 100 plus 20 divided by 100 plus 29 divided by 100, and that gives us 0.64. Now, if I instead take this second approach, what we'll do is we'll get 1 minus, and the probability of 3 heads is 36 on 100, which equals 1 minus 36 divided by 100, 0.64. So you'll see, regardless of which approach I take, we get the same answer, and this second approach here, slightly quicker. So hopefully you've been able to follow that. Um, I think with any probability question, some of the key things to remember or think about is um, the probability of every possibility is always going to add up to one. So whenever you're grappling with these kinds of questions where it's at most something or at least something, you're typically going to have these two possible approaches where you can add up the probability of every possible um, outcome that meets your criteria. Or you can do one minus the probability of every outcome that doesn't meet the criteria. And de depending on the question, there's typically going to be one approach that will be slightly faster than the other. So if you're in an exam and you're pressed for time, um, it, it can be slightly advantageous for you to pick the quicker one. Um, but uh, that, that's probably all there is to say on this question. Hopefully you found that helpful. And uh, tick boom.